This is the Gebra Impulse Type 380 side inlet valve. This inlet valve is suitable for systems which are in front of the wall with either a side or back inlet water option. There are two styles of the valve. One is a flexible option like this, which is suitable for back inlets, or a threaded version here, which is suitable for side inlet and back inlets as well. They're both very quiet and fast filling. They work on a low pressure range of 10 kPa to a maximum of 1000 kPa. Water levels are easily adjustable by dialing in this threaded screw and to carry out maintenance is simple as well by removing the lever and diaphragm here in blue. All the valves are made of a chemical resistant material so if there's any cleaning products inside the system they won't harm the valve. To adjust the water level in the impulse side inlet valve is very simple to do so. This goes for both valves with the flexible connector and the threaded version here. To adjust the water level all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver and adjust the dial on top clockwise to increase the volume in the system and anti-clockwise to reduce the volume. Once you have the correct height inside the system, turn the water back on and check for a correct operation. To service the impulse side inlet valve, it's very simple to do so. We need to remove the lever and diaphragm from the top of the unit. The first step is to unclip the water level adjustment rod and slide it out of the way. Then you turn the lever anti-clockwise and slide out, making sure you remove the diaphragm which is located inside. You may wish to rinse this under running water to remove any impurities which may be in the system, or you can replace the lever and diaphragm as a complete unit. To reinstall the reverse process, push it into the locating slots and turn clockwise. Reclip the water level adjustment rod, like so, and check for correct operation. If you wish to work on the system valve remotely, we can undo this back nut here and remove from the system. To reinstall, slide the valve over that O-ring and then tighten up the back nut. Now you can turn the water back on and check for correct operation. For any more tips and tricks or product information, head over to gebret.com.au.